Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of workshop data for cars in general. We start with the car selection. Now you can do a manual search or you can use the search box here on the right, which is for VRM or uh, engine code or KBA. I've already selected a vehicle, so I'm gonna go to my last selected vehicles. Select the Audi A5, go to maintenance, time distance dependent service, uh, 60,000 kilometers. Now this is what your typical maintenance schedule looks like. You've got your standard time, you've got extra time and total time. You can select additional jobs, this is the one that I've selected here. Um, you can go down and if you look closely, you'll see icons, uh, blue icons that have additional information. This one has, for instance, uh, lubricants and fluids, adjustment data or repair manuals. And if I go back, I also want to show you repair data, such as repair times. Um, for instance, for the cooling system, here you can see the total time for this job, uh, coolant pump. These are all the tasks that are included and the follow-up tasks. Going back, uh, there's also repair manuals, such as this one for instance for the door trim. Now this is easy because these door trims have gotten a lot more complicated over the years. You don't want to break any clips or you know have to replace them. So that really helps. Um, we've also got technical drawings. such as the ones you see here. I want to show you the suspension. We've also got the tightening torques. Now going back, next thing I'd like to show you is electronics, uh, engine management, system. Here you have a list of all the components. You have the canvas overview, or you can do a fault code search. I'll show you, for example, the fuel pump control unit. So here on the right hand side, you have the wiring diagram. Uh, you can see the location of this specific component, which is here, highlighted in green. And this is where Vaser gets really clever because what you can do is you can follow the steps and it takes you through the diagnostic process. So for instance, it tells you to measure the voltage on a certain pin, ask you yes or no, and this is how, how you go through the diagnostic process. The last thing I wanna show you is our smart pack. Here you have a list of all the items that are available. Uh, you can also choose to use these tabs. For instance, this is smart case. These are tips and checks uh, from help desk organizations, uh, recall data and technical service bulletins. I'll show you one uh, for the door handle. Um, these are all built up in the same way. So we've got symptom, cause, solution. That takes you through an easy repair process. There's also got images uh, where applicable and uh, to make it even more clear. And that is it. That's what I wanted to show you. Thank you for watching. And that is why we call it Clearly Better Data.